spotlight is still on Salad all these months later, which I think is a sign that there's some really good work happening from the Salad team to continue to take care of those of us who are putting our compute power towards that network. And it's brought me a consistent revenue stream, especially over the last few days, which again, I think is the end result of some of the updates that have been coming and are to come from the salad team. So I figured we'll cover all of those in this video, take a look at my very real revenue, answer some questions and some additional things that I've learned along the way of sending my GPU resources over to salad. So really, we're gonna start right here, taking a look at the last seven days. This is all of my machines. I have three machines on salad. I have the 4090, I have the 4070 Ti Super, and I have a 3060, and I think I'm gonna change some of that stuff up based on some of the updates we're gonna talk about here in a second. But this is the 4th of September as I'm making this video, and you can see really the last three days have been extremely consistent coming in at about almost $9. So we'll just say $8.74. I think I'm gonna do better today because as I scroll up here, you can see the earnings for the last 24 hours has been $9. Let's pause here and also just look at the last seven days. Those three GPUs have brought in over $50 and over the last 30 days, over $150. And referrals are out of the game. None of that that I am aware is referral revenue because they closed down right after I made the last video. So I might be part of the problem and all of us YouTubers, but they closed down the referral system completely. So this is all just real life. My GPU is making this revenue. There's nothing clouding these numbers here. Um, so let's look at per machine because I think this has been the most interesting story lately. If I go back the last 30 days, the one that you see in blue on the top is the 4090, bringing in pretty consistent rewards and then dips and then pretty consistent rewards. But if I take that out of the equation, you're looking at the 3060 and the 4070 Ti Super, which really are, we're doing almost nothing consistently until very recently, until the last three days, where all of those GPUs have picked up consistent workloads and have been bringing in revenue. You can see the... 4090 bringing in almost six dollars a day uh, and then the other gpus bringing in somewhere between a dollar and two dollars a day and in fact let's just go take a look at those right now we'll figure we'll start with the 4090 which is on this machine that i'm using right here uh, and the other thing i'll say is i haven't done an update and that brings me to pro tip number one if you have a container do not update because everything that i've done in the past has that it will lose that container and if you have a really good one like I do right now, this 4090 is gonna be bringing home almost $6 in 24 hours. Do not update, just let it go until you drop the container and then it is time to update. So that is definitely a tip. So that's the 4090. Let's go take a look at the 4070 Ti Super. Same thing, I have not updated because I have that container and that one is doing almost $2 a day. The last one we're gonna take a look at is in the PC, which is on the bench with me right here and um, that's the 3060 and that has been updated before um, it had a container and so that is doing again almost two dollars a day in revenue coming in on on that machine that brings us to those three machines contributing to what you see here and look at that last 24 hours one of the cool things that i saw is the one gpu down here which i think is going to be the 4070 ti super it was consistently bringing about this revenue per hour, which is like five cents, and it actually dipped and then picked up another container workload to be exactly on par with the 3060 that I have in there. So thing that I learned about that 4070 Ti Super is it's seemingly not great, and I'm wondering if it's because it's just not on Salad's list here. It just doesn't exist. So I don't know. I feel like it should be doing more because it's better than the 4070 Ti, which to rent is 24 cents an hour, though I know Salad has taken like fees and cuts and all that from there. So I don't know, I think it should be doing better, but it's finally got something, but I think I might change that up in a little bit. We'll see. So next thing I wanna talk about is some of the updates uh, on Salad and how that's been impacting, I think now over the last several days, and this is not just me, this is other YouTubers uh, and people in the space seeing increased profitability. So a couple of things, I mean, one I know is that Salad has definitely gone out and used their sales team to bring in more customers um, to fulfill all the GPUs that have come onto their network. That is because of us, because of us crypto miners. And so I think that's probably happening. 
So the first thing that I saw that got me excited uh, was a few days ago, they announced new container jobs uh, that dropped for RTX 3090s and having 50 gigabytes of free disk space. And so I was like, whoa, that is actually wonderful for me because I don't have a 3090 in here yet, but I do have quite a few that I'm ready to go. I have ready to go, as you can see, oh, this is heavy, right there. So that's some of the ones that are still in the Octo Miner that hasn't been used in quite a while. So I wanna get those out, probably replace the 3060, uh, upgrade the power supply, and just ultimately see how that does profitability-wise. Um, so that was the first update that I was super excited to see. Next one was on some updates around tiers they're gonna introduce, and I'm thinking, the detail on this is hard to follow in here, uh, and I'll leave links to their blog on this uh, in the description below if you want to read it. I'm out of breath from picking up that case. It's embarrassing. But a new priority tier system is coming where workloads compete for the best nodes based on their tier and therefore pricing. While high priority tiers will remain close to our current pricing structure, lower priority tiers will allow Salad to maintain its price advantage. I think they're going to send workloads to those who have maintained, in this case, a GPU running, consistently looking for work, looking for containers. That makes the most business sense. Those are reliable customers. I'm gonna send over workloads to those customers and use their compute power because I know that will provide the resources necessary for those who are looking for compute power through the salad service. And what I've experienced, if that is the case, is that profitability consistency. Because I am the star chef or whatever on all my things. I feel like that's a big deal. I hope I get a trophy one day. But I feel that is giving me the consistent work now. Maybe even versus that person who is only doing it when the computer's idle. Maybe only doing it a few days a week. Versus us crypto miners who know we just leave our machines on all the time. And perhaps that's why I'm getting the extra work. We'll see, we'll see. A couple other uh, things that are coming that they are in beta testing right now. I tried to get in, but I didn't, is they are testing multi-GPU setups. So that is classic crypto mining can have multiple graphics cards on a single rig, on a single motherboard. And they are testing that, which would be a big deal efficiency-wise, where you're not running an entire computer like the one I have here, just for the graphics card. And another question that's come up a lot as I'll continue to answer some of these is um, power usage. So let's take a look, because this, you saw that 4090, it's got that container. So GPU-Z is an application that you can use to monitor the sensors and the power usage on your GPU. So you can see right here, there's the 4090. And again, I'll show you that it's got a job right now. Uh, almost $6 a day, $5.50 a day. And if I go to sensors and I scroll down here, we're gonna look for that 16 pin power. And it's only using 52 watts right now. And it will fluctuate up and down. There it just spiked, you saw that, but now it's down. So it's not like mining where it's this consistent power usage at all. It's just not how this works. Really, when you see that revenue uh, coming in, it's, it's a lot of profit over the power that the GPU and that the whole machine is using. Um, additionally, thing you wanna look at is RAM just comes up all the time. So taking a look at Task Manager, you can see the memory being used is over, it's over 32 gigabytes for just the container itself, the VMEM, and then obviously you need additional RAM for the rest of your system. So in this case, for sure on this 4090, you need more than 32, you need 64 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, and then the last thing I wanna talk about is hard drive space. Uh, you do need a good amount of hard drive space available. And the reason is if we go over to C, program data, and then we're gonna look at that salad folder. I'll pull up the properties on that folder. Uh, and you can see it's currently all, 59 gigabytes is being used. And the reason that that's happening is because if you go in there, go to WSL, that's the actual container uh, itself right there. And that is 58 gigabytes being used, and that is saved on there when you get a container workload, and so you do need the hard drive space. If you don't have the hard drive space, you're not gonna get a container at all. 
I think the last thing we should take a look at is just zooming out to the last 30 days to take a high level overview of how Salad has been doing and just the waves that you might encounter in bringing in revenue. And these are the three GPUs that I have running right now. And you can see kind of lower revenue, four bucks a day. And then we get a wave up, bring it in almost $6, $7 a day. And then really down like one, two bucks a day. And then since that announcement for the new tiered system, certainly been coming up. I don't know if it's a fluke. I don't know if that's what it is, uh, but this is really the best profitability and most consistent revenue that I've been bringing in on these three graphics cards since my last update um, a month or a month and a half ago. And in that time of also taking advantage of the rewards, you can see I've redeemed five rewards, which is all $100 PayPal uh, cards or revenue or whatever and it's all been sent right to my paypal sent it right to my bank account and it's just been really easy and i just i don't see why i should stop doing it which brings me to like what am i going to do next so i'm certainly going to get the 3090s in there i'm going to replace this 3060 with a 3090 i just probably got to take a look at the power supply situation in there because it looks like it'll certainly be more profitable i also have 3090 ti but i don't know if i want to do anything with that right yet, and I have 4080s and stuff too, but I, I think 3090 has been collecting dust. So they're up next to see how they're gonna do uh, profitability-wise. I know Brandon Coin has been doing 3090s for quite a while. I know Technicals is doing some stuff. I can't remember what graphics cards he's got going right now, but I'll leave links if they're not already down in the description of both those channels if you wanna take a look more in depth at some other YouTubers experience doing salad and what they're doing, because maybe it relates better to your situation versus what I got going on here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Keep chopping. Links for everything down in the description. Discord, social media is down there as well. Let me know your experience is always down in the comments section. Like the video, subscribe to the channel for more salad.